Published, 1951 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 4th of June 2018. Updated, 1952 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 4th of June 2018. One made his name putting away goals. The other is known for putting away his political enemies. But despite their differences, Gary Lineker and Vladimir Putin resumed their unlikely alliance yesterday as the BBC host defended the decision to hold the World Cup in Russia. Lineker, who scored 48 times for England, attacked critics of this year's host country, saying, Who are we to start getting judgmental on who should have the World Cup? We all know how corrupt our country is at times. Lineker will lead BBC Sports coverage of the World Cup, which begins next Thursday. Vladimir Putin's World Cup has been mired in controversy from security fears to corruption scandals. Perhaps we don't like some things that Putin has done, but we'll be there, we'll be their guests. The comments come six months after the match of the day host reportedly received £20,000 for hosting the World Cup draw in Moscow. The 57-year-old also dismissed fears that England fans will be targeted by Russian hooligans. The former striker, who did not receive a single yellow or red card during his playing career, told Radio Times he had not received security training, adding, I'm not an aggressive, violent man, as my football record suggests. I just hide behind my desk. Nothing will kick off because it never does. It'll be fine. It'll be great. Governments do is another matter, but the people of Russia have actually been very welcoming. Lineker will lead BBC Sports coverage of the World Cup, which begins next Thursday. He expects France, Germany, Brazil and Spain to do well, but not England, who start against Tunisia on June 18. He advised coach Gareth Southgate to tell his players to set aside any aspirations of winning, and just enjoy it, he added, it's the hope that kills you. The World Cup starts and our expectations rise, and then we are disappointed. Leinker faced criticism in December for rubbing shoulders with Mr. Putin at the Kremlin, despite having criticized FIFA, football's governing body, on a number of occasions. He tweeted in 2014, It makes you feel sick actually, the whole FIFA thing. The corruption at the top level is nauseous. The following year he said FIFA was a revolting organization, and in 2016 he called it a disgrace. Leinker claimed he would not have taken the job if disgraced former FIFA chief Sepp Blatter had not been ousted in 2015. The World Cup kicks off later this month with hundreds of thousands of fans descending on Russia. The 57-year-old also dismissed fears that England fans will be targeted by Russian hooligans.